What up YouTube, this your boy Download back for another mixtape review. But before we get into that, I want to have a moment of silence for Tiffany Cates, man, who just passed away yesterday. In my opinion, the rap game is ran completely wrong. Businessmen within the corporate entity of the record labels are often in charge of content that should be created by the talent. What kind of sense does that make when they know nothing of music? The game is more about making money today than it is about making good music. So this enables the worst possible people to receive deals. So I ask myself, if I were in charge, how would I have it grab? First of all, the rap game must be about more than money. A symptom of being about nothing but money is a lack of substance. If all the moves you make is a conscious decision to increase your funds, then you will worry about offending people instead of putting together the best possible music. Also, having good music equates to making good money. Yes, there are exceptions, and it seems as though those exceptions are the target of today's mainstream media. Let's just focus on putting the best product out with the proper promotion. Just because you have the money doesn't mean you should promote every song over the top every time. Even with millions of dollars of promotion, most records still flop. That is how you go fucking bankrupt. Your promotion must update with the times more than the music. And also, you must stay cost effective depending on the target audience you realistically are trying to get. Allow the artist to control the creative aspect. How dare you suit and tie when bitches try to dictate the creative people's music? Having the money should make you equal partners with equal say so and as the breadwinner you need to be open to the constant changing environment of music you pay these people for their artistic vision not to be a rap yes man label executives came to Lupe Fiasco and told him that he was whack and what type of songs that he should do they said they would never release his album Lasers until the people petitioned Atlantic Records. And the album sold more than 270,000 in the first week, which was more than they projected it would sell total. So be a businessman, not a music critic, and just shut the fuck up. One thing I feel the game has done right, but it's still too little too late, was only signing people who has a buzz already in the street and making moves. That was smart, but not all of the time do they follow these rules. Sometimes people with connections can slide past, or A&Rs will go out on a limb for someone which is high risk and high reward. Honestly, I wouldn't care how many favors I owe. The only time I will invest in you is to increase your already climbing fan base. These are just some small revisions that could create a better balance of music and business. Also provide a better product and more longevity of the mainstream music game. Yet, people will have to set aside their egos and the greed to get this done. And sad to say, it'll never happen. Twitter time! For all those who don't know, if you don't follow me at Twitter, which is at DownloadPads, as you can see below, you are missing out on some good shit. And honestly, that is the spot that you want to go to to know whenever I drop new shit. Like, this mixtape review may be up at about 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. And the only way you would know that it would be coming out late or at this time would be following me at Twitter. But the subject in which I was speaking on was, since we are being honest. Smoking weed doesn't give you rap skills. Most of you rappers on this whole jet airplane fad, all of you travel first class on the Greyhound. Porn stars should be banned from rap. Actual drug dealers don't rap. If you use 
of another rapper's lines to open up your boss, you are not paying homage. You're actually stealing, nigga. The boy special. Just to say I did it. I could tell by listening to this mixtape. The boy special, you have a really good ear for music, dude. I really like the music that you selected to rap on. I really like the choruses in which you were building from the ground up. But I gotta say, man, if you just had the skills, this would be a great project. I would honestly download this and run with it if you had the skills, but you sadly don't. You are honestly like a year and some change away from a pretty good balance of rap skills. You have to continue to push hard, man. But honestly, you're damn near a underground P. Diddy, man. You know what makes good music, in which you can use that just like Puffy did. You can do a lot more with that air of music than be a rapper. But my advice is for you to start writing, man, every fucking day. Within a few years, you will see the difference between your normal shit and your great shit. Because your normal shit will get so good, it'll be better than most niggas' great shit. I believe in you. It's just, you got a long way, dog. Noah, the wonderful struggle. I love what you're saying in some of these songs, man. You see Dre and Snoop Dogg in the clubs because you're on the West Coast. And you walk straight past them because they always some assholes when you really want to meet these dudes. I feel that deep down in my soul because you're absolutely fucking right. Lyrically, you be doing the damn thing. But your songs are not all the way there. I honestly really like one song. And it's That Can't Be Life. In which that shit is fucking good. But I want to see a full project from you, man. I want to hear about, give me about five, six songs. And I will be able to co-sign your fucking music. Just continue to work hard. And try to be more consistent with your shit, man. I feel you can definitely get better beats. I feel you definitely can put together a much better product. Welcome to Travis Dan, bitch. Population zero. Deuce to the trade fives. High five to the hero. Seven just stand in line. Devin Hendrix. Generation Y. As I listen to this mixtape, I come up with a lot of similarities to dudes. Uh, odd Future, if you know of them. In which... Basically, you're rebelling, kind of, against mainstream media. As I read the description of your mixtape, you're basically going hard after Kanye West, which I don't like none of Kanye shit today anyway. But I must say, man, just because you rebel against today's popular music doesn't make your tracks that damn great. I like the messages when you say that you don't like this new shit. I don't like this new shit either. But yet, you can only combat that with good fucking music. I like the fact that you got multiple styles. I like the fact that you definitely got some lyrical skills. I love that shit. But yet, the most important thing here is the quality of songs. And I don't necessarily like the quality of your songs, man. I feel you definitely need better hooks, mainly. Two, your beats. You can definitely get better beats. I mean, you, you sound, your beats sound borderline like some of them dudes that say that I am hip hop, in which they try to rap on subpar beats so their lyrics can shine through. Don't do that shit. Get the best music you possibly can get. Make the best hooks, catchy hooks. I'm not saying make like a party song. I'm not saying go ultra commercial with it. I'm not saying go commercial at all. I'm just saying don't let the fact that you are rebelling against commercial music define who you are. And yes, that was the mixtape review. 
for the 9th of April now because this is going to be up super fucking late. I'm going to have a date for the DVD by Monday. I promise. Holla at your boy.